Sermon on St. Joseph by St. Jose Maria Escriva, Part 1 The whole Church recognizes St. Joseph as a patron and guardian. For centuries, many different features of his life have caught the attention of believers. He was a man ever faithful to the mission God gave him, and that is why, for many years now, I have liked to address him affectionately as our Father and Lord. St. Joseph really is a Father and Lord. He protects those who revere him and accompanies them on their journey through this life, just as he protected and accompanied Jesus when he was growing up. As you get to know him, you discover that the Holy Patriarch is also a master of the interior life, for he teaches us to know Jesus and share our life with him, and to realize that we are part of God's family. St. Joseph can teach us these lessons because he is an ordinary man, a family man, a worker who earned his living by manual labor, all of which has great significance and is a source of happiness for us. As we celebrate his feast day, I should like to remind you of him and what the gospel says about him. This will help us find out what God is telling us through the simple life of Mary's husband. Both St. Matthew and St. Luke tell us that Joseph came from a noble line, the house of David and Solomon, kings of Israel. We know that he was not well to do. He was just a worker, like so many millions of people throughout the world. He worked at the same demanding and humble job which God chose for himself when he took our flesh and came to live just like the rest of us for 30 years. Scripture tells us St. Joseph was a craftsman some fathers of the church add that he was a carpenter. When talking of the life of Jesus, St. Justin says that he made plows and yokes. Perhaps that's why St. Isidore of Seville concludes that St. Joseph was a blacksmith. In any event, he was a workman who supplied the needs of his fellow citizens with the manual skill acquired through years of toil and sweat. End of part one.